What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do another video in the series uh, Will It Solar? And I was trying to think of a, a load that would be a common need for people in a uh, power outage situation. And that would be like if it's summertime like it is here in Texas, you're going to need to cool yourself down. Now solar is, it's not practical to power in a window air conditioner or even you know any kind of air conditioner really with a solar panel you just it re they require too much power so the next best thing is going to be a fan uh, now this is just a cheap uh, 20 inch box fan and so this would be very common that people might have um, to try to cool themselves down if their AC in their house was not working so so most uh, fans like this are going to run off of AC power so we need our inverter everything else is, is what we normally use we got our test equipment um, with our our meters on the front we've got uh, our 100 watt solar panel we've got our battery in there just to uh, to smooth things out and make sure that the charge controller can work so we'll concentrate on this stuff this is just a 400 watt cheapo inverter i've got my watts up meter or a kilowatt meter uh, there that shows how much how much we're consuming and this is just a three-speed cheapo fan you can get at Walmart or Home Depot or wherever. So let's see what happens when we start this up. Now to, to give it an idea of what we're starting with, we've got 13.8 volts on the battery, uh, which is being supplied by the 100-watt solar panel, and, we've, and we're consuming 0.7 amps right now. So this inverter is, is consuming about 10 watts when it's unloaded. So as you can see, We're not uh, using, we're, we're using point, we're using about one watt um, when we're not doing anything here. So let's go ahead and turn it on to, to the lowest speed, which is the one. It's just a, a light little breeze. It's using about 55 watts on a constant basis and that did not tax the inverter or the solar panel or anything at all. Um, the voltage dropped down slightly to 12.7 under load and we're using about 4.6 amps of uh, battery power and but that's that's going to be pretty easy for the 100 watt solar panel to replenish as we go here. So I'm not too worried about that at all. If we were dropping it down to, to 12 volts or lower then I'd, I'd be concerned. Uh, that's probably going to change if we crank it up to, let's just go straight to three. That is going to use about 75 watts, maybe 80, and that will tax the, uh, the battery and the solar panel slightly more, dropping it down to 12.2 volts and about five, five and a half to six amps. So what's the, the the bottom line here you can power a box fan like this pretty easily with a a modest size solar panel like this with a 100 watt solar panel um, you maybe want a little bit bigger battery than i've got here for testing purposes but um, so maybe a 10 amp hour uh, 15 amp hour battery would be would be great to operate as your buffer but uh, this is very doable um, you could probably operate, if you had a couple hundred watts of solar panels, you could probably operate two or three of these fans no problem around the clock while it was sunny outside anyway. Anyway, uh, hopefully that was interesting to you and, and helpful. I, I wanted to show kind of a common uh, problem that people might have if their power was out and, uh, and you're definitely going to need some fans and, and they're very easily powered with solar. So thanks for watching, guys.